to the right when I would trip over him. I turn to the left. Sit. Got to sit with the door closed. My hand. No, sit. Yeah, sit. When I opened it, it made a noise over here. And he got a little startled. Just sit. There's the eye contact. Yes, yeah. Now, if he didn't bounce off walls, if 
that I don't really know what he was afraid of. He has to learn that with me, things aren't going to fall. He just needs to relax a little bit. And the more times we put him in social situations and make him a follower, sit. When he's looking at me, he's not going to get startled like that. Right, baby? Good. Good, yes. And now if there was something here that was he was afraid of, I would be sitting facing it. I would use distance as my friend. I would get him to make it a good experience by receiving a lot of food, and then gradually, whatever it was, I start far away, then I get a little closer. Sit. Even if he wanted to bark at the windows, I'd start at a distance. I'd have him sit. I'd have him look at me. I'm saying, hey, this is the behavior I want. And then as soon as he has difficulty, I'll say no, and I'll walk away, and I'll start at a distance again. Heel. Sit. Stay. Good sit. Good sit. So I can mess with making noise. Good. Good. Yes. Stay. Good sit. Good sit. No sit. Sit. Good sit. Good sit. Yes. So we need to work a little. Good sit. That's my boy. That's my boy. Yes.